Hi, this is Neville Atwood and Chris Hargrave, snowboardaddiction.com. This tutorial is designed to teach you how to carve. There's two main ways to turn a snowboard, sliding and carving. Sliding turns is the most common way of riding. It allows you to control your speed and slow down through each turn. There's a lot of friction between your board and the snow while sliding a turn, and you'll often see snow being pushed away from your board. Carving refers to turning your snowboard using only the edge shape of your board. When carving, you keep a lot of speed through your turns. It's like slicing the snow with a sharp knife. It's used for bombing runs with high speed clean turns. However, it's also essential in freestyle to set up for jumps and riding pipe. Carving is not something you do over the whole resort. In my own snowboarding, I'm sliding turns roughly 90% of the time and carving maybe 10%. The following steps will help you when learning to carve. Step one, edge stacking. You can do this inside to get the feeling of positioning your weight over your edges for carving. Start by holding onto something for balance. For your toe edge, get low by bending your knees and ankles and push your shins into the tongues of your boots. This stacks your weight over the toe edge of your board. In this position, shifting your hips forward will create edge as if you're carving. Try creating edge angle on your toe edge without holding on to anything, then do a jump forward to stop yourself from falling over. For your heel edge, get low, bending your knees and ankles, and sink your hips down towards your high backs. This stacks your weight over the heel edge. From here, lifting your toes creates edge angle for carving. Try without holding anything, then do a jump backwards to catch yourself from falling over. A key point on your heel edge is to keep your knees bent while creating edge angle. Do not straighten your legs. Practicing these two positions is going to help you find balance over your edge for carving.